Okay, guys, we are um, back in the cockpit, this time of an A-10, A-10 Alpha model. We're playing uh, Lock On, Flaming Cliffs 2, and this is going to be pretty much just a test run here. I haven't flown Lock On for a while, um, so I'm going to need to get re-familiarized with the cockpit here. Uh, I wrote down my key bindings and everything like that. I have it here handy, so it shouldn't be too bad. But all I pretty much did was um, set up a real basic mission here. I'm starting at a uh, airfield. I'll show you guys exactly where. Right over here, uh, Bambora or Algit, whatever town this airfield belongs to. But that's where we're starting, and uh, through a couple. BTR 80s over here, uh, right in front of a bridge. Didn't give them any move, waypoints, anything like that. Just sort of have them sitting there. They are armed, so they'll be able to shoot at me. But this is pretty much just going to be see if I remember how to kill stuff in this game. Because if I don't, I'm going to have to relearn. Uh, all right, so like I said, we're going to take off here. Uh, I'm going to come out and bank right and uh, turn back around and and just head straight in for my attack run. Hopefully blow all these guys away and then swing back around and land back at this airfield and uh, hopefully everything goes smoothly hopefully my frame rates aren't going to be a huge issue um, and we'll see how this goes alright I'm on the ramp now engines are spooling they're fully spooled so let's see if I remember how to close the canopy uh, nice first time go on that one that's way better nice and quiet okay we got our canopy closed we have our um, Engine's running. Let's see if we can get some lights here. Is that going to be it? That's not it. Is this going to be it? Is this going to be it? I'm just sort of hitting random buttons here, and that's not good. Let's switch to our uh, external view. Oh, looks like my cockpit lights were on. Zoom out a little bit. Good looking aircraft. Okay, you can see our loadout for this mission. I've got a uh, Two sets of rocket pods, I got two Mavericks, a uh, set of Stingers, I don't know why I threw those on there. Uh, not expecting any uh, aerial threats in this mission. ECM jammer pod over there, um, on the left side of the aircraft. And I got two big old dumb bombs, I think they're like Mark 80s. Something like that, which uh, I'm probably not going to use because I suck with them, at least on this run. Although, should probably get some practice with them since I'm going to be starting the campaign here pretty soon. I do have labels on, as you can see, the little icon that says my name and what kind of aircraft I'm flying. Uh, that's only for the fam flight. Those are going to be going off when I uh, when I actually start the campaign. All right, this is just so I don't know, just to take it easy on me for my fam flight. So leave me alone. Leave me alone. All right, so she's spooling up. I couldn't figure out how to get the damn lights on. Um, my cockpit lights were going on. It would be nice to remember how to do it. Oh, there we go. All right, got my lights on. And I think we're ready to taxi. Let me zoom out and get a look at the airfield and make sure I'm on the right part. Hmm, man, I'm really not. <laughs> I wanted to take off in that direction. Uh, but I guess that's not going to happen because I'm not going to taxi around this whole airfield. That'll take an hour and a half, so I'm just going to pull right out here. And, uh, and take off in that direction and uh, go ahead and turn around. So let's hop back in our cockpit mode. Actually, let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. Hop back in our cockpit mode. We can take these lights off now. We don't need that. Looks like I was changing my HUD color, too. How do you think I was doing that? Oh, right there. Nice. Okay. Back to normal. And uh, let's go ahead and taxi. Well, actually, you know what? We're doing a hardcore playthrough here. Let me actually call tower. And uh, let's, let's do this the right way. Let's see if I remember, too. I think it's 7. It's definitely not 7. Oh, I think it's F7. It's not F7 either. Look at that. That's one of our enemies, though. Man, that's a nice 3D model. That's a BTR-80. You can see there's three of them just sort of hanging out right there in front of the bridge. Guarding the bridge up, I guess. But that is just a beautiful model. That is really, really nice. That's, that's like Arma 2 quality, pretty much. That is a really good-looking model. Good-looking vehicle. Too bad I'm going to have to destroy you. All right, so let's get back in our cockpit and... Uh, See if I can remember. It or it might be F8. Not F8. Maybe it's just the 8 key. It's not just the 8 key. Oh, do you know what it is in this game? How did I forget that? It's backslash. Yes, it is backslash. And there's our F keys. Okay, sitting on the ramp. Got our uh, communication venue up. Let's go ahead and call tower with uh, F6. And uh, 
I didn't request my engines launch, so I'm probably going to be on the bad boy list um, today. Uh, I can request taxi to runway, though. Let's do that. Okay, we got our clearance to taxi out to runway 33. Let me take a look at my HSI here. Uh, and, yeah, that is the right direction anyway. 33 is going to be the direction we're facing when we taxi out to our right here. So, all right, let's let's do it. Let's go ahead and taxi. Um, giving her some gas here. Slow it down, slow it down. kind of spoiled now I messed around with uh, I guess sort of the newer version of this game DCS uh, a 10 Charlie and I uh, went ahead and pre-ordered it and been playing the beta for a little while not really playing the beta just sort of flying the uh, new version of the warthog around I still don't even know how to start the thing up but the flight model is just so much more advanced in this and the uh, ground handling is so much more advanced Okay, we got clearance to take off. Uh, let's go ahead and stop short here. Um, yeah, like I was saying, the ground handling is way cooler in uh, the the newer DCS version of this game. Um, it feels like I'm taking a little bit of a step back, but still cool. Um, let me see if I can back my view out a little bit. Is it possible? It is. Nice. I was feeling a little claustrophobic there. This, this definitely feels a little bit better. All right, we got our clearance to take off. Um, let's go ahead and hold my brake. Full 100% mill power here. So my gauge is spooling. And let's let her rip. Oh, before I forget, let me drop flaps down to take off. There we go. Now we're ready to go. Okay, this aircraft, I normally, uh, you know, start rotating. I uh, actually start pulling back on the stick to take off right at about 100 and, uh, 175, 180 um, knots. So you can see on my HUD there, I'm about 150 now. 170, 175, 180, we can go ahead and rotate, and we are off the ground. Let's retract our gear. We have a little F3 view here. Pull our flaps up. So we are airborne. Get back in our cockpit mode, and I'm actually going to head around to the left and hug the coast. A little bit. This thing does fly beautifully. Play model may not be as advanced as the uh, DCS A10, but this thing still is a dream to fly. It was very smoothly. Slow as all hell, but that that's a good thing in uh, this aircraft's case. Wouldn't be if we were dogfighting. That'd be another story. Okay, I do have labels on, so I can see uh, I can see my enemies already over there. If you follow the coastline up around that little hook to the right. See that red dot? That's them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do sort of a uh, half assed little fence check here. I'm going to switch to weapons mode. Let's bring up air to ground. Okay, I have my Mark 84 uh, dumb bombs selected. I'm going to cycle through and get our Mavericks up. There we go. Mavericks Shoot. are up on the screen. Shoot. And that's obviously a bug. <laughs> it didn't used to do that in. Uh, the older Flaming Cliffs, but Flaming Cliffs 2.0, as soon as you arm your Mavericks, it, it tells you to just fire them off. I don't know why it says you says that. Bad advice. Don't don't listen to her. Bitch and Betty. Alright. Let's move our reticle. You can see on my HUD I'm moving it there. And on our little Maverick screen, um, looks like I have the first aircraft selected. Now here's a key I forgot to map. Zoom for my Maverick screen. Um don't remember what the heck it is, so I'm gonna wait till I get a little bit closer. I'll look in the menu after this. All right, we're we're way close enough. I just wanted to get close so I can see on my Maverick screen here. I'm gonna go ahead and release my first uh, Maverick, and let's follow that sucker all the way in. Very nice. Looks like we got a good hit on the uh, first guy. I'm gonna go back around, and uh, normally I'd try to either kill them all on one pass, or I would not get that close to them and leave myself uh, unguarded. Oh, you can see some tracers over my left. They're they're definitely angry that I just took out their uh, buddy, and they are shooting back at me. 
Um, as I was saying, yeah, I normally wouldn't get that close, but this is a training mission, so I'm actually planning on going on three separate passes. One with my uh, Hellfires, not Hellfires, Mavericks. If I call them Hellfires, excuse me, I'm, I'm still playing uh, Apache Longbow Assault, and the guided missiles on that aircraft are called Hellfires. So if you ever hear me say, say uh, Hellfires in this game, I mean Mavericks. Um, and now I'll probably start calling the Hellfires Mavericks in Apache Longbow Assault, because that's how my brain works, or doesn't work, I should, should say. Alright, anyway, back to the game at hand. Like I said, I was planning on doing three separate runs, one for each enemy. Uh, first one was my Maverick, wanted to make sure I had that down, which uh, seems I do. Uh, I have to remap my zoom key, because that's pretty critical. Um, absolutely critical, I should say, because otherwise you got to get them real close to see what you have locked up, and then you're vulnerable. So this run, I'm going to do my cannon. Let's go ahead and arm our cannon. Here we go. Now, here's the thing. I suck with the cannon. Um, well, I don't suck. I'm just not very accurate. I don't make it look good. Let's put it that way. I, I, always, I always hit what I'm going for, but it's always just barely. Or like I said, it just doesn't look pretty. It's a little fancy. Over the top maneuver. Wow, my stomach just got a little loose there. Shoot. So I guess it's a testament Shoot. to the graphics in this game. All right, we're going to put him dead center in our pipper. That second BTR. Our range is looking good. We're under a mile. I'm just going to let rip. And, man, I put a bunch of rounds into him. Hopefully I don't get shot down here. And we should see him go up in flames any minute. Oh, yeah, he's smoking, and there he goes. And his uh, buddy is definitely shooting at me. You can see the tracers whiz by me as we speak. But they're not going to hit me because they suck. And I'm a nimble little guy in this thing. Maybe slow, but I uh, I float around nicely. Very nimble. All right, so uh, weapon systems on this aircraft. We used our uh, our Gatling gun, our uh, GAO-8, something like that. Man, I really got to get the terminology down before I start my Let's Play on this because uh, I look like an ignoramus now. I don't even remember the name of the gun on this thing, but it's a pig. It's a beast, and it's, uh, it's scary looking as all hell. So we effectively used that weapon. We effectively used the Mavericks. What I have left on here is uh, my dumb bombs, my Mark 84s, and my rockets. And I really suck with rockets. Um, I'm a little bit better with dumb bombs. But I normally wouldn't use dumb bombs on an armored vehicle like that. Anything with an offensive weapon. I would, I would normally use dumb bombs on, you know, bunkers, things like that. But, uh, I think... What should I use? I think I'm going to use the dumb bomb. I think I'm going to arm that up, see if I remember how to, how to get one of those off accurately into a target. Uh, we can always redo this mission and go for the rockets, but I, I just... Rockets are going to be a disappointment. The rockets pretty much use the same reticle as the uh, as the machine gun, the Gatling gun anyway, so it's not like you're missing anything. I mean, you pretty much even fire it the same way, uh, except there's no drop, uh, there's no bullet drop. You know, the Gatling gun, when it shoots, the bullets slowly drop, they're not powered. The rockets are powered, so they pretty much zip in a straight line. Um... Let's get back into combat mode here. All right, we got our Mark 84s armed, and let's see if I remember even what reticle. Seems like we have nine billion of them on our HUD. I don't remember what reticle I have to put on this target to lock them up. I think it's the the big dotted circle there in the center. Let's just give it a whack. I am pretty pretty far from this guy. All right, um, I locked something up near him. Definitely didn't lock him up, though. Let's see if we can... Yeah, you see, that's, that's not what I wanted. Uh, how can I... I don't know. Oh, there we go. All right. This is, this is going to be tricky. Uh, I'm sort of all over the place. May need to play with my sensitivity a little. Oh, God. There's got to be an easier way to do this. Uh, I'll just release a little early, I guess. That's not really the right answer, but uh, let's do it. Alright, he's centered. My icon, and I'm going to release early. That probably isn't going to work very well. Sorry about the crap view. Ah, it did work. Uh, luckily, that bomb has a huge amount of splash damage. Because I definitely didn't hit him directly, but man, I still took him out. So.